Hey, how come he gets to be somebody's guardian? I want a guardian. How do I get a guardian? Well, basically, you have to be weak, absent-minded, and completely helpless. Oh. Well, I can do that. Look, watch, watch. Oh! Oh, no. I've fallen and I can't get up. Where am I? Help. Help me. Where's my guardian? Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is, and let's just get right down to it. First, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Here you got the B, here you got the bot, over here you got the tech specs, over here you got your obligatory product shots, over here, no, over here. You have the uh, bio, if you want to read it. Done! Hey! That was a leader class crash right there. <laughs> Anywho. Moving right along. So here is Bumblebee. And yep, he's still a Camaro. He's still a Camaro. Um, some differences here, uh, the striping is different here, it has a, actually has a texture to it, the hood has a totally different design to it, he's got some intakes in here, I like the stripe, how the stripes actually go uh, along the hood, I mean along the, uh, the roof of the car now, I like that, he's got a spoiler now, and um, I think the front section has been uh, remolded, I think. And again, people inspect your toys before you buy them. As you can see here, the splitter is... They didn't paint it all the way. That's been happening to me quite often. I've been getting little, I've been getting little paint errors in my toys lately, and that's starting to aggravate me. But, anywho. Um, he does have some window nets molded into the, uh, the Trans Clearance windows. That's right! Trans Clearance! It's the new cool hip word. Spread it around like wildfire. But anyway, um, they didn't paint the rims, which eh, kind of sucks, but I'm not that torn up about it. But all in all, though, it looks good. It looks like a Camaro. Turn them upside down. Oh, VHS. Visible head syndrome. Hello. But that's pretty much all there is to it. He's got the license plate there. Very nicely done. A nice big old bee. Now for comparison, we'll bring in a deluxe bumblebee from the first movie. You can see the difference there. See how that stacks up. Next, we'll bring in Human Alliance bumblebee. And not a major difference there in size, but definitely the leader class still is bigger. But not by much. And just for the hell of it, we'll bring in Leader Class. Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen. So you can see how that stacks up there. And there you have that. Now, the new accessory that Bumblebee has is this thingamabob right here. It's basically a weaponized jetpack which has some nice little molded detail in here. Pretty cool. And it's kind of supposed to invoke the look that the uh, the deluxe Nitro Bumblebee has. Basically, you have that going on there. So, pretty cool. And all the electronics are in this. There are no electronics in the figure itself, which is great because there's nothing to hinder the figure or make this figure make this figure, you know, bulkier or any boxier than it needs to be. Everything is here, so if you don't like the electronics, if you don't dig having this backpack, then you can just take it, put it to the side, and pretend it never existed, which I do like. Uh, see here, he's got a clip right here and two, uh, two slots right there, and you're just going to take it and clip that right into that back windshield, which for me sometimes likes to be a pain. 
get on there, man. There you go. Hey, just pop that on. And yes, it does look ridiculous. <laughs> I will totally admit. It looks a little ridiculous with this giant thing just hanging off the back of the car. But hey, now you take this red section right here, this red and brown section, you push it forward and... You get a transformation noise, you get a little power-up noise. And now he's got some guns. And basically you just take this, push it back. Get some firing noises, they both make the same noise. And then you push this cannon back right here, and you get... Get a big cannon firing noise. And this thing has a lot of the MechTech ports too. You got a MechTech port here, you got one here, you got one here, you got one here, you got one here. You got clip points right here, right here, you got clip points back here. So, you can definitely uh, arm this thing up. Now, you can actually get the uh, Stealth Force mode out of this Bumblebee. And how you get it to Stealth Force mode is you open up the doors, you bring them up, open up the door, bring it up, you want to take the hood and pull it out and bring it forward like that. You want to take this section here, just bring it down, get it out of the way. You want to take the arms, pull them out, just kind of straighten it out to get it out of the way. You want to take the arm, you want to rotate it inward like that, and then bring it up. As you see here, there's a post right there, it's going to go into the port right there in the shoulder. Just take it and plug it in there. And you see here, there is a post right here, which will plug into a port right under the door, right there. So you just take it, angle it in there just right. Then you just take the arm and just kind of bend it forward like that. And as usual, kitties, second verse is much like the first. Take it, rotate it in, pick it up. Plug it in, plug the door in, like that, bring that forward, and bring this back up, and there you basically have Bumblebee in Stealth Force mode, which looks a lot better once you have this clipped in, like that, and now you got him in full Stealth Force mode. Which actually looks pretty cool to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but this actually this actually makes sense to me somehow. It doesn't look completely ridiculous. I don't know why, but it doesn't look completely ridiculous. Now, if you saw my Mech Tech Madness video, you saw that I had this thing loaded up with all kinds of Mech Tech weapons and clip system weapons because when you have them in this mode, he's got Mech Tech ports, he's got more clip points, so... You can definitely arm this guy to the teeth. I even had a couple of those Human Alliance Basics figures mounted on here. So you can definitely go nuts with this figure, without a doubt. But there you have that Stealth Force. Who would have thought it would actually make it into the movie? Huh. Who would have thought? I think I was more surprised than anyone. <laughs> like, they're, gonna use, they're, they're actually going to use that Stealth Force gimmick in the movie? Are you kidding me? But hey, they did it. But now that we have them, pretty much, <laughs> we've, we've pretty much already started the transformation, so let's finish it, shall we? Let's. Let's just finish bringing the arms out. Let's just untab this stuff here. You want to take this roof section here, untab it, bring it up, get it out of the way. You want to split the legs. You want to take this section here, bring it up. You can take this section, the rear bumper section, bring that up, extend the leg down, like so. You want to take this piece right here, bring it forward. You want to take the foot, bring it out, slip out the toe, come back here, fold out the two heel spurs, like that. 
And there you have a leg. And guess what? The second verse is same as the first. I just let you in on a secret. A big secret. Bring it forward. Flip out the toe. Flip out the heel. Flip in this thing. And you got some leggings. You got some leggings going on. Bring up the camera, because he's starting to get tall. I'm going to take this whole section here, bring that down. Uh, what else do we have to do here? Let's see here. You just want to take this section here, just untab that. Bring it down, take this section, put that down, like that. You want to take this section of the hood and front bumper, just bring it back, and it will... And it will click into place like that. You want to take the arms, just kind of bring them down like this, kind of out of the way for now. As you can see right now, he looks like a mangled mess. <laughs> Where's Raph when you need him? Beep, boop, boop, beep. Bumblebee says, Help! Anyway. <laughs> But uh, next thing you want to do is give him some spinal compression syndrome. So you just want to take him and push this whole section up, which on mine is very tight. There you go. You want to push that whole spine up like that. You want to take the hood sections here, bring them down, and these pieces right here will slip into these slots right here in the chest. So you just want to take it and bring it back. It'll fit right in there, bring that back, and fit it right in there. Then you're going to take this section, bring it up, and it'll lock all that into place. Now you want to take these wheels, bring them back, and this will reveal a slot right there where you will take the arms and plug them in right here. Like that. Then straighten his arm out. Bring down his hand. And you want to come here. Plug that in. There you got that going on. Oh, there we go. You want to make sure that this this part right here actually clears this windshield that way you can actually bring them all the way back and get them out of the way so you got that now this the roof section here has this little clip you gotta bring it up and this will clip in to this section right here like that and lock that in place like that. So you have a pretty fairly neat backpack. You can take these set pieces and you know you can do whatever you want with them. They're on a hinge so you can bring them forward like that and angle them however you want. I just kind of leave them at his sides. And the last thing you do if you want personal preference is you take these sections right here of the hood and you can if I can come on come on there you go you bring them up and bring them back like that again it's personal preference if you like the way that looks hey that's great if not whatever <laughs> it's totally up to you it's personal preference me personally I do like to take them and bring them back Although they can be quite a pain in the ass to get out. Come on! Why do you have to fight me? Why do you have to fight me? There we go. Take it, bring it back. I personally like the way it looks. That's why I do it. It does make them look a lot bulkier, but I, <laughs> I, I kind of like them looking bulkier. And that's it. There you have it. 
There's Leader Class Bumblebee in robot mode. And I think he looks pretty damn cool. He has the new, uh, the new chest piece going on. And I think it looks good. One thing, I don't know if anyone else has shown this off, but you actually can take this front part of the cannon here and uh, extend it out. I don't know if that really makes much of a difference, but it does make the cannon a little, you know, bigger, I guess. And for some reason, this section right here, you can take it and bring it forward for some reason, which I do not know why this is necessary. But hey, whatever. Now, mech tech ports. He's got mech tech ports right here. He has one here. He's got one here. He's got a clip point right here. So again, you can take them, load them up, but pretty cool. And again, the wings, obviously you can pose them however you want. Now, posability wise his heads, his head can rotate. Of course, there's not a lot of clearance, but you can get pretty good range of movement. Shoulders are on a good ratchet joint. You get a bicep swivel, you get double jointed elbows. Uh, you get some wrist movement. There's no swivel, but you still get some wrist movement. And here you get some, some thumb movement. Thighs. Good ratcheting joints. Good range of motion. Knees. Uh, some of good range of motion. Feet. You know, if you count that as articulation, sure. You can move these heel spurs around. So... Not bad at all. I, I do really like this figure. I think he looks damn cool. Some people have complained that he looks a little too a little too bulky, you know, he looks a little too uh beefy up top. But hey, you know, Bumblebee's been uh he's been eating his Wheaties since Revenge of the Fallen. He's been working out. So hey. You know, he he's got it and he's flaunting it. He's flaunting off his, his giant pectorals. Has rippling ab muscles, just like Prime. Prime has the rippling ab muscles now, so Bumblebee is like, hey, I can do that. I can work out too. I can be big and strong, just like Prime. But, pretty darn cool. I do like this figure. Now again, you can take the backpack. One thing you do have to do before you clip on the backpack, you have to make sure that the wings basically go straight back like that. And again, you have the same clip points right there. You just take it, snap it on, and then you can take these guns and bring them down so they're pointing forward. Take the cannon, bring it down. Now, herein lies the problem. When you clip on the backpack, it makes him very back heavy and makes him a huge, huge pain in the ass to stand up. It's doable if you fiddle with him. And I've had to fiddle with him quite a bit to get him to stand with this backpack on. But, there you go. I managed to do it in less than half an hour. Yay! There you have him with the backpack on. You know, uh, w without the backpack, this figure is perfectly stable. I have no problem standing him up. But once you clip that backpack on, it just, it really throws his balance off. It just makes him really, really back heavy. So that's the one thing that does suck. And again, you still have the uh, you still have the sound effects, so we can blow some crap up. So, yeah, very cool. I like this guy. Now, for comparison, here he is with Movie One Bumblebee. And here he is with Human Alliance Bumblebee. And here he is with. Leader Prime. As you can see, he is a little shorter than Leader Prime, but still a very good, very good size. Get these guys out of the way. Oh, one thing I did forget to show you is uh, he does have the battle mask. You can flip down. You can get that going on if you want. 
But yeah, all in all, though, this is a damn cool figure. I really do like it. Again, there is a lack of paint apps going on here, but it's really, it's it's not enough to make me hate on this. I, I think it's a really cool figure. And again, I like how all the electronics are in the backpack, and if you don't like it, then you can just take it and put it away. So I, I definitely think it's worth the money. I, I think it's definitely worth picking up. I'm glad I have him. He's he's cool. And this is basically the last movie Bumblebee I will ever buy. <laughs> I haven't bought any of the deluxes. I just bought the leader, and this is the only one I'm getting for Dark of the Moon. And this is my last. My last movie Bumblebee. Yes. The end. <laughs> So anyway, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Bumblebee. And this is MGO rolling out. But really, Bumblebee, I, I really think you'll like Carly. I mean, she's a really nice girl. And it's... What? Michaela? Oh, M M Michaela. Oh, Michaela! Right, Michaela, um, she, um, uh, th th hey, did you get a new paint job? Did you get a new paint job? Because that looks, that looks wonderful. That, you look handsome. You look handsome. You are a handsome, handsome bot. Did anyone ever tell you that? If no one's told you that, I'm telling you now. You are a handsome, handsome bot. I mean, it, 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 it yeah, Michaela, Michaela, um, yeah, well, the thing is, uh, well, be we, um, we had to send Michaela to a farm. Yeah, that's it. We, we, we sent Michaela to a farm where she can run around and play with other Michaela's. Yeah, that's that. That's what we did. Yeah, she, she's at a farm. A farm of Michaela's where she'll be happy. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Why do they always fall for that stupid farm story? Psst. Stupid Autobots. Star Scream! What have I told you? I don't like sour cream in my burritos! <coughs> huh? He flung you like an angry bird! <laughs>